all right guys so today i'm gonna do something that i never thought i would do in a hundred years because growing up what i'm about to do or people who did what i'm about to do were seen as you know not respectable uh, were profiled as people who were irresponsible probably not you know working or worthy of anything um successful or good yeah and the funny thing is i've <laughs> i've actually already done about you no know, yeah i've done two of those things and today i'm going to complete the look so what i'm talking about is uh, my hair um going to lock my hair and for those who don't know what locks or how locks are done including myself because i've never seen it yet and done then stick around for this video or stick around to the end of this video to see how locks are done but i'm talking about the stereotype of um getting locks and as a man yes as a man in ghana getting locks um doing tattoos and thirdly having earrings so i have two earrings which um a lot of people in my family who saw it were like uh, not really <laughs> up for it um but you know it's already been done you can't do anything about it and frankly it's none of your business so today i'm gonna get locks because i'm tired of using the twist sponge in my hair so I'm at my friend's place, my appointment is at 10, but I'm a bit early, so I'm sitting here and talking. And I quite remember one story about my earrings when I was working at City. Um, City does uh, literacy challenge, and I was part of the events team where I was moderating, is it moderating or invigilating? Yeah, or supervising the exam before the representative certificate. And one parent actually went to tell one of my colleagues who was the event um, manager that I'm setting a bad example for the kids. That why am I at the forefront of this exam supervising the kids when I'm wearing two earrings? At the time I was wearing hoop earrings. So two hoop earrings, gold ones. You can see them clearly. And she thought I was setting a bad example for the kids. So today yeah i'm probably gonna be the kind of guy who you send to your family home as your boyfriend and your parents are wondering that well hey now uh and they say and you know they be so yeah i say so yeah let's see how it goes and um, also let me know if you've ever experienced this in any way um by the way you look even for women in your office space maybe you have a kind of hairstyle a natural hairstyle that is not really accepted i'd like to know so i'll get back to you guys i'll actually take you on how it goes i'll try and film it as best as possible and let's get to it so my friend's place is 3130 naturals it's at jolu and uh yeah, she's one of the few people I can trust to get this done. So, ring the bell and wait. It's almost 10 a.m. And this is the first thing that I'm going to do today. I'm excited. I hope you are too. And I can't wait to see how it turns out. <laughs> and I can't wait to show my mom when I'm done and hear what she says about the locks so yeah here we go
all right guys so um i just finished it took about four hours to get this done which is longer than i actually expected and while i was doing the locks i actually texted my mom the progress some pictures and a short video and she was immediately calling back so when i finished i called her back and um, her uh, response was like oh so i have finally gotten to do this thing that i been talking about doing ever since i was you know a teenager that i love the look and i will do it one day but of course i mean living in a in your parents house in a christian home and being a guy they will tell you no no please don't don't be saying stupid like that so yeah um now that i am i wouldn't say i did it because now that i'm free or now that i don't live with them it's something i'd wanted to do it's a hairstyle I don't see any problem with it but yeah she kept saying hmm hmm I mean there's nothing she can say except hmm so at least I know how she feels about it uh, I'm not supposed to be washing this hair for a couple of weeks yeah when I'm bathing I, I'm, I'm gonna wear a bonnet so that I don't have to wash it and I also need to wear something or head wrap so that it keeps it intact that is my care basically for the next couple of weeks before I come back so this is it I am a man with locks earrings tattoos basically the kind of guy like I was saying in the beginning that you take to a family meeting and they are wondering if uh, uh, really this is the person and I might also be increasing my chances of getting harassed more by police but c'est la vie, c'est la vie. And um, for me, I just think that people should not, you know, people are not their looks. Don't judge people by the way they look. Immediately from your experiences or things you've heard or where you grew up, you just see somebody that looks like me and immediately you think that nah, this person couldn't possibly be, you know, up to any respectable um, dealings or whatever it is which is quite sad but anyway I hope you do have a change of mind at some point in your life but yeah do let me know what you think of it how it looks at the moment leave your comment below if you actually do um, spot one of these looks as a man or well, ladies well it's hair so usually it's easier on you except in some corporate environments which do not allow um, some hairstyles but as a man if you're spotting this look i'd like to know in the comment section below how your experiences have been how people treat you or how people judge you immediately they see you i'd like to know some of that as well just let's have a conversation in the comment section below and um yeah i'll keep you posted on my new journey my new look how things are for me in the coming weeks or in the coming year or in the coming years so that's what i wanted to share today on the vlog i will catch you guys in a bit it's adios for now and stay safe wear your mask wash your hands sanitize and all the yada 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 peace